Okay, that song just makes you happy. That song is called Waltz for Sweatpants. It's about a couple who doesn't care what anyone thinks of them. I love that. And the song is from Cody Fry. And his song, I Hear a Symphony, surpassed 200 million streams on TikTok and reached number one on the Billboard Classical Tracks chart in 2021. So joining me right now is Grammy-nominated singer and songer, songwriter Cody Fry. Thank you so much. And thank you for waving at the camera every single time I said your name earlier. That was phenomenal. I was so excited. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Of course. So let's get to that song, the I Hear a Symphony song. It went viral on TikTok. Thousands and thousands and thousands of videos have that song. What was it like initially seeing so many people take to your music so well? It was amazing. I, I mean, that what's so unique about that song is that it came out in 2017. So this was not like a new song. It wasn't even one I really promoted from that original album back in 2017. And so to see it just all of a sudden explode out of nowhere it was it was a wild experience and when i finally got a tiktok account it was like <laughs> it was like drinking out of a fire hose or something <laughs> just couldn't <laughs> couldn't keep up <laughs> is tiktok something that you look at now as kind of um like a helpful tool for the music that you you are putting out of course yeah i think i mean you know for all the drawbacks of social media one of the most amazing things is that you get direct access to interaction with your fans and i love that i my fans are the coolest i mean they're just all music nerds and the most wonderful people and so i love to any platform where i can just have interaction with them uh makes me happy i love that okay so music is in your blood your dad is a composer so you were exposed to music early on when did you start creating your own identity oh well i might argue that i'm still trying to create it but <laughs> uh, i feel like uh the cool thing about a song like I Hear a Symphony going viral was that that was sort of the type of music that I would have made even if no one had been listening to it. I've, I've always loved the orchestra. I love film composers like John Williams and Hans Zimmer, but I also love pop music. And so I, I, I thought one day, what would happen if I just tried to sort of like mash those into each other and see what happens? And it sort of created this music that just came like right from here. And uh, I think it was such an encouragement to see that that song was one that really took off because that gave me sort of the confidence to say, okay, well, let's double down on that and make more music like that because that's what I really want to do anyway. You know, listening to a lot of your songs, um, I feel like a lot of them are very emotional. Uh, they are love songs. They really put you in this mood. That one that we just played made me happy, but some of them I'm like, oh my God, I'm thinking about all my past relationships. I'm thinking about my life. <laughs> um, where does your inspiration come from? Life. I mean, you know, I think for me, I've always had a hard time writing about things that I have not that I'm not experiencing. I think some people are amazing fiction writers and they can come up with these amazing stories. But for me, it always has to be grounded in something that I've lived myself. And for a single like Waltz for Sweatpants, for example, obviously, I've never been to like a fancy ball gala. You haven't. But... I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. But I think I, what it comes from is that it's a song for outcasts. It's for a song for people who don't really feel like they've ever fit in. And I've totally felt that way. And I think everyone has felt that way at some mm -hmm. point or another. And it's just a reminder that like, hey, that's sort of the thing that makes you weird and unique. That's what makes you amazing and what makes the world a beautiful place. And so I wanted to make a song that could immortalize that. So. That's great. So Waltz for Sweatpants, we just saw a part of the video. Um, the dancers were absolutely phenomenal. How did you find them? What went into picking the dancers and the stars for it? Well, uh, we hired this incredible choreographer named Tassandra. And so a lot of the dancer recommendations came through her. Um, she's choreographed for, I mean, a million people. Jennifer Lopez. I mean, she's won awards. It's She's incredible. Um, and then to find the lead, it was sort of a easy thing because they sent uh, Jennifer Mika, who is the person in the pink dress that you see. And mm -hmm. the second I saw her, I was like, she is just like sunshine personified. And it's just, <laughs> and so it was so easy to just be like, yes, she's amazing. She has a million followers on TikTok too. She's like her own amazing dance sensation. Uh, and so to be able to work with someone as sunny as her was, it just was a real, a real treat. 
And I just feel like I love seeing them smile when they're dancing. It's it just takes your breath away. It's so amazing. We ran out of time. I'm so sad because I had another question for you, but we we'll have to it's throw right. that out the window now. So we have to finish up. But thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. You're phenomenal. Your music is incredible and we wish you the best of luck.